At this point, I'd like to call Nene Teria Akrobeto, who is the Ga Adangwe traditional chief, surrounded by the chiefs from Ghana for a libation pouring. This libation is simply this. We thank our creator for today. And we also remember our ancestors for all their sacrifices for our country's freedom and independence from colonial rule. May the bond between Columbus and Accra flourish. We thank destiny for this opportunity. May all those who worked behind the scenes and contributed to this cause be blessed. This libation will be done in Krovo, the dialect within the eastern region of Ghana. Nene Akrobeto. I'd like to seize this opportunity to welcome my uncle, Uncle Oko Fanapoi, for finally coming to visit me in Columbus. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pour this libation in Krobo, and that's my dialect. Oh, Mao, get your way. Mao, get your way. Mole, oh, bo, your way. Kezibam. Mo. Le soemi kan mune no Amralo ni jigan ke Amralo ni je Columbus ama pe kake mau wa namosin ke ha ni ke ni no no fia no no ma pe mune no mau wa no fia no e pe nle yu no fi ano pe jo 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 jo. Kuni amla lo nge gan. Ke amla lo nge Columbus. Wa chope wa na wa ese. Ao maun mochum. Maun mochum. Maun mochum. Chua, 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 manyeba. Chua, 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 manyeba. Chua, manyeba. Chua, manyeba. Thank you very much. It has already been translated. It's all we're giving thanks to God who had made this occasion possible. That the joining of hands between Columbus and Accra should be nothing less than success. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nene Akrobeto. At this time, I'd like to welcome Tim Sword, who is the president of the Greater Columbus Sister Cities International, for brief remarks. Alfred, thank you. Wow, this is incredible. Um, today is truly a celebration. Um, it's not very often that we get to do this kind of uh, agreement. It's been 60 years since Greater Columbus Sister Cities, or Columbus, initiated its first sister city. And this year, I actually had the opportunity to go to Genoa, Italy, which was that first sister city, with Council Member Priscilla Tyson and a group of young leaders um, to mark that occasion of the 60th anniversary. And what that means is that once we make this commitment, it's, it's forever. It's a commitment between two communities uh, wanting to connect in many areas, whether it's educational exchange or economic development, culture, arts, or just the sustainability of our cities. It's really important that the community gets involved in all areas to make this connection work. Um, I do need to thank Tiffany Kahn uh, for being passionate and being part of this process long before I was even part of Sister Cities. Uh, Barb Pratzner um, and the board of directors definitely initiated this along with at the mayor's uh, direction. Uh, he said a couple of years ago he needed a sister city in Latin America, and we got one. And he said we needed one in Africa, 
and now today we're going to have one, and we're very excited. The process was incredible. Um, it, again, it started before I was here, and the selection, reviewing the cities, the opportunities that we had in Africa were huge. And, you know, we ended with Accra, but we look at it as our entryway into the whole region. Uh, just as Curitiba, Brazil is one city in Brazil, we look at it as our first portal into that market, just as we're looking at Accra as the portal into a larger market area. Um, and when I say market, I don't just mean economic development, I mean opportunities in all areas because it's about prosperity. Today is a celebration. It's a celebration because these two mayors have agreed to get together to make this agreement. And I've had the opportunity to talk to Mayor uh, Vanderpoy and uh, Mayor Coleman over the year about this, and he said this was important. And having had him here for 16 years as our great mayor, it's awesome to be part of something that will add to your legacy, Mayor. And congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. I'd like to welcome Council Member Shannon Harding from Columbus City Council. Good morning, uh, Columbus City Council Member Shannon Harden. I'm very proud to be here. Uh, on behalf of Columbus City Council, our President Andrew Ginther, uh, my colleague who is here, Council Member Fran Ryan. Uh, having gone to the Columbus Afrocentric School, uh, I know that you don't start your remarks without recognizing uh, your elders here. So I would like to recognize our elders, uh, both from our brothers and sisters in, in Ghana, but also from the Columbus community. Can we give them a round of applause? I want to thank you, Mayor Coleman and Tabir Vanderpoy, uh, for giving me the time to express how important this agreement is to Columbus. I'm excited to share the spirit of Columbus with our sisters and brother in Accra. Mayor Coleman has made it a point to strengthen Columbus's position within the United States and is standing around the world and make sure that everyone knows about Columbus's swagger along the way. Having strong sister city relationships around the world have meant a strong Columbus. Greater Columbus City Sister Cities International facilitates exchanges across international lines that have not only made Columbus the best city in the nation uh, to live, work, and raise a family, but also have made Columbus into an international destination. This agreement does all of those things. We are going to build relationships that enrich both cities economically, educationally, and culturally. This agreement formalizes much of what already exists here. Columbus has a vibrant and growing Ghanaian community. Even today, we see Harrison Afu, one of the black stars of the Ghanaian national soccer team, playing a vital role in the Columbus soccer team, the Columbus Crew, SC, go crew. So we know that our Ghanaian community has already contributed much to our city and will continue to contribute to Columbus. As the chair of the city's Small and Minority Business Development Committee, I hope that we are able to share our city's unique brand of entrepreneurship with our sisters and brothers in Accra. Furthermore, I hope that while we exchange what makes us the best city in America to live, work, and play, that our new partners show us the beauty and richness that only they can on how they live, on how they work, and how they play. As a descendant of the African diaspora, I cannot express my gratitude to our mayor and to everyone involved in this process for fostering and formalizing this relationship. Thank you to our mayors, Coleman and Vanderpuy. Thank you to Columbus City Sisters International Director Tim Sword, and thank you to everyone for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Harding. At this time, I'd like to welcome. Columbus's own U.S. Congresswoman Joyce Betty. Thank you and good afternoon. It is indeed my honor to be here today to serve you as your U.S. Congresswoman for the 3rd Congressional District. I'm also very proud to say to my brothers and sisters here, the home of many Ghanaians, I thank you. Today is very historic for me to be here on my way back to Washington. It's historic because as we witness in the libation, hands joining together. Today, two strong black men of strength 
strong black men of wisdom, strong black men of education have given their lifetime to serving while across the waters of two worlds today coming together to bond two cities. I say to my brothers, thank you. To Mayor Michael Coleman, thank you for extending the invitation for me to be here today. To my new mayor and friend, Mayor of Accra, Mayor Vanderpoy, thank you for being in my hometown. I've had the opportunity to travel to Ghana a number of times and to witness your beautiful universities. So today, a dream for two men come true. What can I give you as a member of Congress as I sat there witnessing the libation and thinking about what I will see and hear when the two of you speak? I thought, I can go back to Washington, D.C. and share today's story. So within the next 10 days, I will enter what happened today into the United States congressional records on the United States House floor. My gift to my two mayors. Thank you, love you, and Godspeed. Thank you, Congresswoman Beatty. At this time, I'd like to welcome Jim Shema from the Franklin County Board of Commissioners. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is James Shimmer, and on behalf of the Franklin County Commissioners, Marilyn Brown, Paula Brooks, and John O'Grady, I bring their warmest, heartfelt uh, con congratulations uh, to Mayor Vandepoy, uh, Mayor Coleman, Congresswoman Beatty, uh, and the members of the Ghanaian community who are joined here today and their respective guests. Uh, unfortunately, the commissioners are right in the middle of their 26th budget hearing uh, and at this moment uh, are not available to be here with you this morning. Uh, therefore, I get the great privilege uh, of being here to say a few words to you this morning uh, regarding this uh, historic occasion. Uh, working together with our, party, our partners at the City of Columbus and Greater Columbus Sister Cities International, we are proud of the fact that economic development, our economic development efforts have been recognized uh, nationally and global uh, in nature. Uh, as all of you know, uh, economic development uh, takes place in a lot of places and variety of uh, uh, industries. Uh, as Commissioner Brown uses, often uses the phrase, friends do business with friends. And I think that is what we want to talk about this morning. Uh, this morning, we take that first step in formalizing an ongoing friendship with our friends in Accra, Ghana, recognizing that Columbus and Franklin County's greatest strength are our newest immigrant populations. Mayor Vandepoy, as you may know, Mayor Coleman is not going to run for another term as mayor. I, along with a number of men and women in this great city, have had the honor and privilege uh, to work with him during our careers and have gone uh, on to do great things just because of him. What you may not know uh, is that as a young staffer some years ago, he made a pledge to me and several others that he would not leave office until there was the establishment of an African sister city. He's made several of these pledges. For example, making a great downtown, developing a strong environmental policy, uh, and building better neighborhoods for everybody. All of these things have happened just as he has said. And with this uh, signing this morning, Mayor Coleman has indeed kept another promise. Uh, certainly you will agree this is the sign of a great mayor. On behalf of the Franklin County Commissioners, we are so glad that our African city uh, is Accra, Ghana. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. And now, our next speaker needs no introduction. Let me set the scenario. Our sister is about to introduce her fiancé to the family. She walks in the house with this handsome young man. The family finds out this fine young man is from the Coleman family. 
Dad has some indirect joy, which is not coming out. Siblings are all, all happy giggling around. The interesting one is our mother. Mom cannot wait to run out the door to tell the friends what new, good news we have. She runs to Sarah's house, and her first line is, hey, Sarah, guess what? Why do I share this scenario? It is just what Mayor Coleman has done for Columbus. Dad has that hidden joy because he knows of Mayor Coleman's accomplishments. Siblings are happy because they know what stuff that Coleman is made of. Mom is running out of the house because her daughter has set some standards in the house. The least thing you do, mom is gonna say, hey, I wish you become like your sister. I do not intend to preach to the choir. What we witness today is that incomplete grade which we received and now we have a passing grade. Please help me welcome Mayor Coleman, Columbus's finest mayor and the nation's finest mayor. Thanks, thanks, Alfred. Thank you very much, Alfred. Thank you, thank you, that was so kind, so nice. Uh, this is a big day in Columbus, a big day. You know, uh, it's an historic day as well, because on this day we will establish officially a relationship, a sister city relationship between the great city of Accra, Ghana, and the great city of Columbus, Ohio. I'm very proud of this day, proud of what we're about to accomplish on this day. Because you know, there are some 10,000 uh, people from Ghana right here in the city of Columbus. Uh, there are some 76 churches uh, all over the city uh, that uh, people from Ghana uh, represent. Many, many businesses all over our city. And I said a long time ago that I was not going to leave the office of mayor until such time as we had a city from Africa to be part of our sister city relationships. Now number 10, <laughs> number 10. So this is a very proud and, and important day for our city because from this day forward, we will be able to exchange our cultural relationships, our economic development relationships, and our educational relationships. We will build upon today we will build upon today and make both of our cities better. Make both of our cities better. And so as between the city of Accra and Columbus, and as between the United States of America and the great country of Ghana, as our past has been intertwined, so shall our future from this day forward. And I am so pleased uh, to have here with us uh, Mayor Vanderpoy, uh, who he and I have become great friends uh, because he already has some significant relationships already in the United States, uh, from Missouri to uh, South Carolina and other parts of our country. He's a global citizen and uh, and we're going to be great friends over the years. It's also important that we have this signing at the King Arts Complex, right here in the heart of the African American community, right here. And we walk through the passage coming over here, and we could feel the energy between us already. And so, Again, this is a very proud day for me, a very important day for the city of Columbus. And I'm glad to welcome Accra 
into our sister city relationships. Mayor Vanderpoy, thank you. God bless you. And we're going to make this the right thing for our community. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor Coleman. Our next speaker, Mayor Vanderpoy, has been in office since 2009. Mayor has stopped the school shift system in Accra. He's built Millennium Schools, improved education, rehabilitated and reconstructed city roads. And the mayor's leadership, the city of Accra, was selected as part of the 100 resilient cities by the Rockefeller Foundation the Bloomberg Foundation Initiative for Road Safety, and the IBM Smart City Award. Mayor has also won the prestigious President Eduardo Dos Santos Africa Best Mayor Award among the large city category in 2014. This program recognizes, rewards, and celebrates city leaders who display exemplary qualities in leadership, vision, innovative thinking, management capabilities, and integrity. Just as any other mayor, he believes there's more to do in Accra and Ghana, and this re relationship is part of the process. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Van der Poy. Mayor Coleman, and all elected officials of this great city, U.S. Congresswoman Joyce Berlin, Nime Name, ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed a delight for me to be here today. I was never going to let this pass by when I heard that your mayor, your great mayor, Mayor Coleman, was just about leaving office, I said, I will put everything aside, travel to this great city to come and make sure that under his watch, we took care of this business. Because you know, man may dream dreams, but it is only the great men and women who would make it a reality. And I know, having lived in this country for over 30 years, that your mayor has always been a great mayor. And if there was just one little thing that I could do to seal all that he's been doing all these years, I decided that I will come and make it happen. So on behalf of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, on behalf of the chiefs and people of Accra, on behalf of all the wonderful people who have worked, I know it, because I kept getting phone calls, I kept getting WhatsApps, I kept getting text messages, I kept getting all kinds of messages from so many quarters. Alfred, please, when are you going to make this happen? So I know many have worked, and I cannot begin to mention names. But on behalf of all these wonderful people, I am very happy to stand before you that we will sign this memorandum of understanding and to make it a reality in the lives of the city of Accra, and in the lives of the city of Columbus. Why, I, why do I think and believe that this is important? For the 30 years that I personally lived in this country as a school principal, I refused to take jobs in any affluent communities. I refused to go to what they will call great cities. I never took a job in any city where everything was fine, including Naperville in Illinois. But I will always take a job in the cities that I could do something 
to establish the relationship between the people of Ghana and for that matter Africa and the people of the United States. That is why when you check my job record, you will see that I worked in Oklahoma City. I worked in Kansas City. I worked in Chicago. And I worked in Columbia. All because I believed that when our forefathers walked through the door of no return, it was in us to establish the dream of return for our people. It is in the relationship of sister cities. It is in the relationship people to people that our people could return back home. So that in this 21st century, we will close really to the door of no return and open the doors of opportunities, whether it is in the United States, whether it is in Africa for our people. And so I'm very happy today that we will come and sign this memorandum of understanding because I know that the rain in this signing will create opportunities for economic empowerment for the people of Columbus and Accra, for the people of the United States and Ghana. It is in this signing that educational opportunities could be arranged, exchanges between the mayor's level, elected officials, and ordinary people, students going back and forth across the sea, and developing opportunities for all of us. I have seen it done in many cities, and I am here to assure you that I will do whatever it takes to make this signing move from a paper signature to a realistic working activity for the people of Accra and for the people of Columbus. As we sign this document today, I am looking forward to the day, to the moments ahead, when the chiefs, Nime Name of Columbus, together with the people of Columbus, will be on a flight to come to Accra. So we will also roll out our red carpet, led by the mayor and his elected officials, led by the traders or business people, led by the, you know, the communities of Colombia, Columbus, I'm sorry. So you come to the city of Accra because there's so much that we can do to benefit our people. Like we used to stay in education when I was here, leave no child behind, we can leave nobody behind. We need to bring everybody along. I know that from the city of um, Oklahoma City, from Kansas City, from Chicago, from Columbia. There were eight graders that I took to Ghana, took to Nigeria, took to Col uh, Cameroon. And today, they are serving, in Congresswoman, they are serving in some of your offices. Children who were never exposed to so far away from their own immediate cities. But today, when they went to Ghana, a wealth of world was opened unto them. So I know that great things will come out of this. And I am so happy that on behalf of my people, the Nime and Name and all Ghanaians, what, what, about what, 10,000 of them in this community, that I will come and serve them that I will come on behalf of the people of Accra, the chiefs and Nime Name of Accra, to serve them in this community. And this is, Mia Coleman, a new beginning, but it will live forever. And your name will be on it forever and ever. Thank you.
Mayor, on behalf of the whole friends and folks from the African continent, we thank you for your 16 years. Columbus has been a wonderful place to stay, and it's because of your leadership. So if you would join me as Mayor walks up here, let us give him a standing ovation as a way of saying thank you. Thank you. At this time, we have brief remarks from the King Arts Complex and the Ghanaian community. You may be seated, please. So I don't know, I've never had a standing ovation, so you guys could have stayed up. Welcome to the King Arts Complex. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, staff, and volunteers of the King Arts Complex, we are wowed by this. This is such an auspicious occasion. Oh my goodness, thank you, yes. We are humbled and excited and honored to host this auspicious occasion. I agree with Mayor Coleman, this is the right place to have it. We have always been involved and engaged and wanting to be more engaged with the entire African diaspora. So this helps us continue to serve the community. This helps us continue to bring the African community into the King Arts Complex because at the end of the day, we're all Africans. African Americans are Africans. So we are excited for this and we just really thank you all. I want to bring to the stage the Assistant Executive Director, Mark Cardwell, because one of the legs of this agreement is arts. And unbeknownst to us, we were involved in forming a relationship with the Ghana National Theater. Unbeknownst to us, the Mayor Coleman was doing the same thing with the city of Accra. So we were either visionary or clairvoyant, I'm not sure which. <laughs> but Mark Cardwell has traveled to Ghana twice to speak with the, um, the uh, head of the Ghana National Theater, and we are in the midst of signing our own um, sister organization agreement. So Mark has a statement from the leader of the Ghana National Theater that I think he wants to read, and he wants to talk a little bit about it. Come on up, Mark. Welcome, Mark Cardwell. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I, I'm beyond thrilled, and um, I'm uh, very excited because for me, uh, this process started a little over a year ago. Uh, I, I caught wind uh, that this uh, agreement was in process and there were a number of cities um, that were being considered. I had indeed traveled to Ghana uh, before and I was rooting <laughs> for Accra all the while. Uh, I took a trip and began to speak with arts uh, leaders there in, in Ghana in anticipation <laughs> that it would fall this way. Uh, I have had great conversations there. The arts community there is strong and vibrant. We have a lot that we can learn from each other. I was fortunate to uh, have a good uh, conversation on both of my last trips there with the director of the National Theater of Ghana. Uh, and it is indeed our intention, as our executive director uh, stated, to create a significant uh, relationship, a sister relationship, in accordance and in the spirit of the signing today. And so I would like to uh, read a statement from Amy uh, Frimpong, who is the executive director of the National Theater of Ghana. Uh, she sent quite a speech, uh, so I'll just abbreviate. Uh, the National Theater, with its three resident groups, its mandate is to develop and promote the performing arts by projecting a positive national identity and, an, as, an, and as an African personality. This ties in beautifully with the mandate of the King Arts Complex along similar ideas. Therefore, if today the cities in which our two theaters are located are signing a sister city agreement 
it is just logical for us to strengthen that relationship by entering into a sister theater agreement. We applaud the city of Accra and the city of Columbus for signing this agreement, and we will do what we can to make this relationship thrive to the benefit of both cities. Thank you very much. We'll have brief remarks from the Ghanaian community. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Columbus Accra Sister City Committee, I want to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to a number of distinguished individuals who were influential in making this partnership possible. First and foremost, I want to say a big thank you to the Mayor of Columbus, Ohio, Honorable Mayor Michael Coleman. I want to also thank the state and city elected officials present the selecting committee, fellow Ohioans and fellow Ghanaians. Also, our special thanks goes to the mayor of Accra, Ghana, the honorable Mayor Alfred O. Van der Poy. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here to sign this historic deed. Now, before I take my seat, we have a small token for the both, you know, mayors. We can't really pay you for what you already got started. And we know without a shadow of a doubt, we know without a shadow of a doubt that the best is here to come. So on behalf of the, on behalf of the Ghana Association of Columbus, we are presenting to you a plaque Mayor Michael Coleman for your efforts in the establishment of the Columbus Accra City Center, Accra City relationship from the Ghanaian community in Columbus, Ohio, November 30th, 2015. And also to Mayor Alfred Oko Van der Poy, uh, this is for the occasion of your visit to Columbus, Ohio on November 30th, 2015, for the signing of this um, sister city establishment. There we go. Thank you. In closing, I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here for this you know, special occasion. Thank you so very much, and may you have a great day. We also, we also have a little something uh, from Columbus for Mayor Alfred Van der Poy. Mayor Van der Poy, on behalf of the city of Columbus, Mayor Michael B. Coleman, I think Mayor also has some special gift for you.
Mayor Coleman. Um, I think you need to get your passport. I got that. Uh huh. And we need to get it to the Ghana Embassy and issue you a five year visa. And then, and then, as quickly as time would permit, you need to book your flight and be on your way to Accra. Because on behalf of the five million people of Accra, waiting for you in Accra is the key to the city of Accra. A walk through the city of Accra so that you will feel it, touch it, and come back to the United States rejuvenated and have dreams of um, dreams to work even more for this city. So I only brought to give you a token of what we have reserved for you in Accra. And because of the hard work that you have done, and it is testified by your own citizens here, I brought you Columbus, you will also fly the flag of the city of Accra. Thank you. Yeah. So at this time, Congresswoman Betty. It is indeed my greatest honor to present to you, Mayor, this congressional commendation from the United States Congress. I won't read it all, but it does say, on behalf of your friendship here, on behalf of you joining hands, on behalf of becoming a sister city with Mayor Coleman and the city of Columbus, we applaud you. Thank you and Godspeed. Oh, wow. Also, on behalf of the people of Accra, the chiefs and everybody, we came all the way to decorate you with this yeah. token of appreciation. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. Okay, at this time, I'd like to welcome our elected officials and Nananum right behind the two mayors before they sign the documents, please. All elected officials and Nananum. Unto the Lord be thy glory, great things he has done. Unto the Lord be thy glory, great things he has done. Unto the Lord. Be thy glory, great things he has done. Great things he has done. Greater things he will do. Unto the Lord be thy glory. Great things he has done. 